A few years ago, a 15 ton piece of congealed fat was pulled from a London sewer. It was so large they had to send in a piece of specialized equipment to remove the so-called fat berg. That same issue happens on a much smaller scale at water treatment facilities all across East Texas. KLTV 7 Sophia Constantine shows us a plant in Palestine may have found a solution. Flushable wipes, they're largely to blame for that infamous 15-ton clog in London back in 2013. For wastewater treatment plants in East Texas, the issue may not be as big, but it is just as common. It's not necessarily wipes as much as rags, trash, um, nursing home, plastic gloves, trash bags. You know, the normal person don't think about what happens to it once it goes down the drain or wherever, you know. Benjamin Day and Mark Fletcher know Palestine is not immune to the problem. It, it turns into a lot of hours, a lot of manpower, a lot of uh, dangerous situations, putting hands in pumps. But those days may be long behind them. We make a product called the D-Ragger. Uh, the D-Ragger is basically a piece of technology that monitors the power signature of a pump in a clean environment. The key word there, clean. Basically, that monitor notices when a bunch of rags, bags, and wipes could become a clog and throws the system in reverse to prevent it. From experience, Day says the D-Ragger has cut down from one or two clogs per day at the plant to around one every two months. This, this helps save the taxpayers sitting at home because it cuts down on manpower hours, it cuts down on, on safety issues. Nate Smith works for the city of Palestine. He says, financially speaking, the plant couldn't have found a better solution. You know, it's already paid for itself multiple times over. As for the guys who deal with everything you flush. It, uh, it would help if people would realize what they're flushing. Sophia Constantine, KLTV 7 News. To break down how much money the D-Ragger is saving the city, Smith says it costs $5,000 for each of the three pumps they've installed at the wastewater plant. Before that, the plant was spending up to $3,000 per week in man hours to clear out clogs.